Oh, I found a belt. It's walking through the quonset and there it was just hanging there. This one I took off the other side on the loader. But I can put this one back on the other side of the loader now, so. <clears throat> That's good. I don't think I guys show you that. Remember what size that is. Uh, I better look at it because I'm gonna get one. I'm gonna run town today, so. But oh, there it is. B56. All right, it's recorded. Now I can't forget what size it is. Well, I'm just showing you guys that. This uh, I was gonna. Send Jordan Alice Acres here a uh, picture. I fig figured I'd just uh, show him on YouTube. And uh, he's looking for a hay feeder in his little shed there for steers and stuff. He's a one inch square tubing. Uh, they got four, six, eight, ten, twelve footers. I bought them at the Stockman Supply. A guy could really easily make them with square tubing. Just need a little time to do it. No big deal, but uh, I should have baked heat measure out for him. But I don't know. Seems to work good for younger cattle. For me, I guess if he had two small ones, he could always put a uh, two by four or something along halfway up, so they don't try crawling through. I knew when I had a little bit smaller ones, they could weasel their wiggle their way through these. But otherwise, they work pretty good, and you can use for gates. Yeah, and connect to each other. You can either hang them on a wall or post or anything. So it's all buried in the snow here. And I ain't got one that's not buried in the snow right now, but I figured I'd give them a look at that. So that's for you there, Midwest, Jordan. Put that in your uh, shed there, and it can be a gate feeder, or you can put it in the corner, whatever. Not too expensive, but I got them in Stockman Supply and Zambrota, so. All right, well, let's give you a look at that, so. Well, I thought someone was coming with me. We're going to town to quick, around town there, and check out the old alternator here. Uh, you coming, Tyler, or what? Yeah, I just have to call the house there and see if he's coming. Yeah. Some days. Well, I'll take you guys along here on the town quick. There's my neighbor, super farmer. Oh, yeah. Alright, coming up here. Go that way, go Sixie and the Zambroda.
started here. The roof fell in last winter. So they put a brand new uh, cedar shake roof on her. She looks pretty good again, so. Got the alternator on. I'll see if she works, I guess. Um, oh, guess I gotta get the battery charger. <laughs> Back in a bit. Well, I'll give her a go here. It's been about a minute or so. charge on here a little bit so work so hard and quit my other chores and come back and make some feed she's up hey Kelly you're on the camera here <laughs> oh it's nice to see old Kelly got up she got up this morning once and I was hoping the night here she'd uh, 
show everybody. So yeah, I ain't gonna go in there and bug her too much, but show you guys that. It's nice to see. Cow's been down for four or five days. Kind of messing around in the straw there a little bit. Yeah. Hopefully. Make it easy there, girl. I right, you turn around and show everybody. It's a little weak yet, but she's up. Well, she's looking for water now, so. I gave her water this morning. Don't lay on the pail. Make it easy. Maybe she go in there with that pail. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna show you guys that. That's for sure. Well, sound loader is going. All in there is working on the tractor. Cow is up. Well, I figured you guys I didn't end video here. So, uh, well, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked the video. And Catch you in the next one. Thanks.